been waiting for. I've come to on-site fly screens, so I've got some nice flat concrete to work on, and I'm finally going to change my tyres. I just went to the effort of jacking up the car, but this trolley jack's no good. It's dropped back down again. So now, plan B. Now just to clarify, I haven't just got the car propped up on the high lift jack. If we pan across a bit, you can see there is an actual jack stand under here as well. Now I don't like much in the way of bling on my cars, but one thing I do like to do is colour the hubs. Yellow, it's just part of the colour scheme of the whole car. Uh, I don't have fancy hubcaps to put on here, I'm just going to put on standard black sun your rims, the kind of things you see everywhere. But yeah, a little bit of yellow in the centre, looks really cool. I'm just going to yellow up the brake calipers as well, the yellow shining through the black looks pretty good. While we're waiting for some paint to dry, let's have a look at the difference in the tyres. This has much, much bigger grooves in between the tread blocks. Uh, it's much, much thicker in the carcass. It's actually more or less the same dimensions, which works really well for me because I don't want to lift my tray height any higher. Uh, for most people, you can fit 33s under a Ranger or a Mazda. Um, I don't want to do that because I don't want my tray height to go up any higher. I just want some good, tough tyres with some good quality rubber on them. Yeah, there's a Light truck, 265 70R16s. Um, I've had good experiences with them. I'm not saying they're particularly better or worse than Mickey Thompson's or Cooper's. You can argue about that until the cows come home. I've just liked them. I've liked them in the past. I like them now. So I'm doing them again. All right, here's a fun comparison. These are my Jeweler 697s. And these are Mickey Thompson Baja. I wrote it down so I remember. 28570 R17. So basically just good old 33 inch proper four wheel drive tire. Um, these are much more appropriate for the everyday use I'm gonna use. It takes a lot less effort for the car to turn these tires than it does to turn these tires. Of course, if you're in deep in the mud, this is what you want. If you're gonna do serious outback travel, go for something like this or climb some hills in the high country. For me, these will do everything I want them to do, including the mud and including climbing the hills in the high country. They're just a bit more conservative, which suits what I need them for. And for what it's worth, here's all three tyres lined up. See, the road tyre, sort of intermediate, and the serious off-road mud tyre, 33. This one's mine. It just works great for those everyday things that I want to use it for. It's no problem getting these on a BT50, Ranger, Hilux and so on, even though they're quite a lot bigger than what I'm applying today. But uh, they're a terrific tyre, so you might as well go for it. These ones actually came off an Everest, uh, and they looked fantastic on that Everest. They really were just the right size. Uh, made the thing look, I don't know why they don't come from the factory with this kind of tyre fitted. Now high lifts are notoriously dangerous, so when lowering with your high lift, don't put your head over the bar. Because it pulls up with a lot of force. Now I don't know if you've noticed, but Bridgestone have brought out these great valve caps as a charity arrangement to help fight leukemia. My tyre guys supplied me with this. It's a second-hand, reasonably good condition tyre. Exactly the same size as the four new ones I put on the car. And it's got a brand new rim on it too. 
Now as always, we like to talk about tyre pressure. I've gone for 35 pounds in the front, and I actually go for just 30 pounds in the back of my ute, because it is such a lightweight thing. Pretty much all it is on the back is an aluminium tray that draws a bit full, and I've got a little bit of stuff on the roof, but I'm generally traveling pretty light. So just 30, 30 pounds in the back uh, seems to even out the, uh, the stiff leaf springs just a bit. Right, the last one. Okay, I'm just finishing up and I've got the last tire on, but I want to address a pet peeve. Some of us might have heard of an expression, FT, and it's often applied to wheel nuts. But think about it. FT, if you don't know, stands for very tight. Uh, if you apply it to your wheel nuts, and this has happened to me before, you crank those on as hard as you can, maybe you'll just be out in the middle of nowhere and you won't be able to get them off. Maybe you snap the stud in the first place, maybe just round off the nut. FT is not smart. Here's what I like to do. You should, mind you, take out the um, torque wrench and do it to the specific torque required by your vehicle, the lock, the handbook and so on. But my preference is to take the good old tire iron, and you saw me a second ago, excuse me, using this. This is not a rattle gun, this is a 12 volt impact driver. It's, it's just put these on there, it's spun them on nice and quick. It's convenient, but it's not tight enough. So I've got the tire iron. Get a bit of tension on them. Line it up. Just give it one good shove with your foot. And that's really all it takes. Right. They're all on. Now for a clean up and go for a drive. Now before I drive off, there's one more thing I want to do and that's reset my average fuel consumption. Right now it's on 10.7 litres per 100, which is fine uh, with the standard tyres. So let's reset this. It's going to take some time uh, to get a proper reading again, but uh, I'm interested to see what these tyres do. If anything at all, they probably won't change much. Okay, for experimental purposes, I've got up here a cheap app, a decibel reader, reading what the car noise is making while I'm driving on the original equipment tires. Right now it's hovering about 85. Now I've got the new tires on and to be honest I can hear them. They are actually slightly louder. I mean I had road noise before and these ones aren't much worse so it's no big deal. Uh, looking up here, no difference to be honest on the, on the cheap app. Um, much to report so far. But very early on, I've set the fuel consumption meter, so uh, we'll see how that turns out in the near future. Uh, so far, though, the tyres, uh, the only real difference, the only difference I've really been able to experiment with is the fact that they're just a slight bit louder. Now, I have just arrived home um, with my new tyres, and the fuel consumption has, well, it's displaying 10.4 as opposed to 10.7 before. Uh, but it's too early to say how that's really going to affect things. Uh, apart from that, they've been good. I've really enjoyed my new tyres. I think they look terrific. Um, I'm looking forward to getting them out to the bush one day. Hope to see you out there.